Now on the Supreme Court and the immunity, their awful immunity uh, provision for, for uh, presidents, including uh, Trump. All of us in school were taught that there are no kings in America, no kings in America. But one month ago, the MAGA Supreme Court effectively placed a crown over Donald Trump's head. They ruled that the President of the United States is in essence above the law, that the President is immune in sweeping ways from accountability for, quote, official acts. One month ago, I said I'd work with my colleagues on legislation to reverse the damage of the court's bewildering ruling on immunity. Today, I'm pleased to announce Senate Democrats are taking the next step. Today, along with 33 of my Democratic colleagues, I'm introducing the No Kings Act. This legislation is as simple as the name it bears. It reaffirms that presidents do not have immunity from violations of criminal law and removes the Supreme Court's jurisdiction to hear appeals related to the presidential immunity, which the Constitution explicitly empowers Congress to do. The MAGA Supreme Court's decision on presidential immunity was the very antithesis of the kind of accountability our framers envisioned. It just goes to show you what a morass the Supreme Court is in right now. They're in a mess. They're in an ethical morass, and they're in a substantive morass. Ethically, the MAGA Supreme Court is suffering a huge crisis of confidence with the American people because justices accept lavish gifts, vacations, cars, from hard right wealthy people who are then paying different groups and lawyers to lobby for what they want, and then they, the ju judges turn around, the justices turn around and ram through scores of hard right decisions. The two happen sometimes too, all too close to one another in time. Substantively, the MAGA court is taking the rights away from Americans at every opportunity. Like, women, like a woman's right to choose and others, siding with the big special interests against the average person. And again, the MAGA Supreme Court is undermining our Constitution and throwing out centuries of precedent by anointing Donald Trump and future presidents as kings above the law. And make no mistake about it, we have a very strong argument that Congress by statute can undo what the Supreme Court does, that it does not require a constitutional amendment. The bottom line is this, no democracy can hope to survive if it cannot ensure accountability. And if the Supreme Court can no longer be trusted to serve as its own check on ethics or on following precedent and helping the American people, Congress must use all its tools to restore trust and accountability to the highest court in the land. 